have 97,000 views on my videos on average hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about Facebook ads and video views specifically getting video views at the lowest possible cost to get people to actually watch your videos so that you can then use it later for other reasons and we'll talk about that in a in a minute but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets that's right so what if you could get thousands of video views for pennies I know it's great to have viral and all that stuff but with ads at least you're targeting the right people and it's very attractive to use ads to find the your exact audience right but it's so expensive sometimes what if you could do it for pennies penny not even pennies I mean it's like 0 0.02 0.2 2 cents a view or 0 0.1 cents of you like 10 10 views per per penny right what if you could do that so we're going to talk about that and I'm going to show you what I do how I did it and how you can do it too because it's not that hard but before we go there I want to make sure you're if you're listening to the audio you're going to want to go check out the video at cis 436 dot jsgagnon.com because I will be sharing my screen and obviously with Facebook ads you definitely want to see what I'm talking about when I talk about it so let's first go to the uh to the screen here and uh, I'm going to show you right now okay I I'm, my, my, I'm in the way here let's move this over here so these are just this is just one example right I spent 240 dollars in, in about a week I don't know if it's a over a week but as you can see right here I got 150 well the through plays right over here which is I don't remember what the through plays are let's see does it tell me uh I forget whether that's a three second one or more but anyways I get 97,000 views on my videos on average 0 0.02 cents but if you look at some of these this one's 0 0.01 this one's 0 0.01 as well 0 0.01 over here right you can see that there's some of them that are less and some of them are more and I'll explain to you why that's different but if I was to just do these 0.01s obviously the price would even be lower because this shows me an average right here of all of these different ads I did right now also I did I'm doing some new ads this was uh this was actually a couple of ads I did last week and uh, if I just kind of remove these filters here and I just show you <clears throat> all of them so the ones that I did this week let's say uh AGU workshop so this is kind of what I'm promoting right now right so if I look at just those ones and I just uh because this is going to show me through plays so this is yet yeah, I started it today so this if I just go for let's say yesterday I started them yesterday I didn't they didn't they're not they weren't all running for 24 hours yet so obviously see the price here and I just spent 397 right which is kind of ridiculous because I've got them set to just two dollars a day each and they just started like near the end of the day yesterday so that's why it's so low um but you can still see there's 0.01 here 0.01 0.02 0.02 0.01 the cost per play is ridiculously low right the thing is that obviously you want that to come to some sort of result right I mean getting ads is one thing video views doesn't really do much you want people to be clicking on your uh, on your links I don't know if I have any clicks here does it show I would probably have to go and change this here to uh let's say um I don't know let's look at engagement I I there's so many different things you can do with <laughs> with Facebook ads and how to view them I'm still learning that stuff as you can see right now we're not seeing any uh, kind of anything what's this one link click so three link clicks right here um on this video number one and it's just showing me three right there but then like I said they just started last week if I if I change this to say for example the ones we were just looking at a second ago 
this perfect prospect one and well let's leave the link clicks in there too see if we see any of any of them see we have 166 link clicks point it's like one cent per link click that's really good but obviously if you don't get any you know uh, uh anybody opting in to your let me just click on it that's useless so part of the whole process here is learning the differences between all this but let's say uh what's what's it showing me here it's showing me uh page engagements post impressions I probably can even get page likes and stuff like that too right link clicks and page likes I don't have any in this particular uh, list but anyways this just start that I was just running those for like two days three days or so and I decided to change my strategy to use a different video series but this is how you do it all right so first of all uh let's go to my page the first thing you got to do is you got to think of it as a, a longer term campaign you can't just have one video I mean you could but it, it really won't be the same thing you you want people to you want to use a video that people are going to get kind of get to know you right you don't want a video that's that's tr you're not trying to sell anything you're just trying to teach them something maybe or you're trying to explain to them something that they that they uh, will value um so it's really depends obviously on your market your target market so what I did is I these are just automated posts here but if I go back to the uh, yesterday so what I did is I posted uh, in my case six different videos now you want to do five to ten videos okay short videos that's probably that's the best way to do it the short videos especially story format real format all <coughs> right <coughs> because those are the videos that are the most engaged the most functional right now right the videos that do the most right so this one here is video number one so what I did is I did the same text for all of them like these all have the same text right and um and then I just have a you know three of six two of six with a little bit of something on what the video is that's in the description and that's anyways that's just that doesn't really matter for what we're but for what I want to talk about the the the, hundred, the thousands of views for pennies right but this is kind of how it works right so over here you see I have uh what does it say oh it, it's uh ask me to spend more money on the ad okay so what you want to do is you want to go into your ads manager like this ads manager right now I'm just going to go back to doo -doo -doo. I don't even know what view I normally have it's probably the performance one which is the default it says right there right so this one shows me the clicks um the results of through plays over here um the number of reached impressions the cost per result the amount spent and then there probably a way to say I want to see where do I customize columns let's say I want to see in here I want to also see the clicks oh I don't want that no I just want to add the clicks the clicks <laughs> let's just apply the clicks because I've added uh, the ability to click on my different uh so this where where is that going to put it he's going to put it here can I move it oh I, I think I have to go in here under the customized columns and I have to move them here so I have the clicks so delivery ad set bid and no, 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 I just want to move this around I want to put the clicks to let's say right next to the where is the, the results I guess the results whoops the results right here okay a lot so now the clicks is going to be right next to the uh the results which are the through plays so you can see that this one here had one click this one had one click this 100 177 clicks this was the perfect prospect series that I did as you can see there's a bunch of them they're all turned off now because I, I I'm going to the other one but um if I go back now to the other one which was AGU AGU because this one the AGU one which is the new uh, workshop AGU workshop I just want to see only those right so this one here will show it shows me whoops that I did the, there's a reach route and there's a few of them that got clicks but like I said this just started yesterday so that's not you but uh you're still seeing 0 0.1 cents that's 10 views per penny 
so you know a thousand views would be like uh what is it what would it cost well it's right there 1029 for 68 cents right a thousand views for like 65 cents or whatever it was right it can be even lower than that too right um and this one is you know 383 for 21 cents right this one here was 250 260 views for 23 cents right so it's really not expensive you if you do it right and if you make the ad more about teaching your audience something so if I go back to, let's just go back to this video and just kind of show you what this video is so I'm just going to play it uh, I have to turn the audio on here so just I'm going to mute myself so you can hear the video but this is the video that I did there so what makes a perfect prospect you ask a perfect prospect is somebody who loves you and will buy from you because they know like and trust you and if you've been doing online marketing you know that that's all about creating content having a personal brand being persistent being consistent engaging but that's a lot of work isn't it so what makes a perfect all right so you can see that that well this is actually video two I probably should have played you video one which is this one here which is kind of the introduction video so I'm doing a video one and this is what I suggest you do too you do a video one that introduces you and what your topic's about okay and each of the videos is a you know an additional information about that first topic so you split it up into like I said five to ten videos where you talk about a particular topic that your audience is interested in right so in my case it's building in finding perfect prospects or turning um turning ideal prospects into perfect process we all know how to find ideal prospects right we all know to go to groups we all know to engage we all know all this stuff and this is kind of what I'm teaching or talking about in this series and let's play the first one just so you can kind of get my my uh, specific hey Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today I want to talk to you about turning your ideal prospect into perfect prospects so you already know that to get a prospect to buy from you they have to love you they have to like you they have to know you right so how do you make these ideal prospects become those perfect pro hey Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today I want to sorry <laughs> yeah so that's that's kind of my intro to the series so each of the videos has a different thing so obviously you can go find go check them out um on my page or you're probably you know if you watch almost any of my stuff you're going to eventually see it in your feed as long as I pay for the ads I might that might not be for a long time but anyways it'll be for probably a little bit <clears throat> so I'm not sure if you'll see but worst case you can go to the page I might even put them in the blog post as links actually I will do that though I'll put them in in the blog post as links so you can go see the videos if you want to get an idea for what I'm talking about all right so now that once you have the videos you post them to your page to a Facebook page that you've got your ad account tied to right I also posted them to my story my personal story and I post them as reels on my on my Facebook post them as reels on my Instagram and I did all that too um and this is one of the things is see how there's wording on there that's because I used I recorded them with Snapchat because on Snapchat I can easily see when the 10 second mark is I want to make sure they're not too long <clears throat> I recorded them on Snapchat then I actually recorded like 12 of them 12 to uh, 10 second videos and then I put two and two together uh, in reels I used reels to take that like a, a six second one and a 10 second one put it together make it a 16 second video in reels I added those words and then I saved that before posting it as a reel so that I wouldn't have the um, Instagram um or or the, the 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 watermark right so I saved it before posting it so I don't get the watermark then what I did is I used those videos that I created using reels to my Facebook page that's why they have words here and that's why the words change in the middle right even though they're videos you can obviously do that with a whole bunch of different editing software but doing it with this is definitely uh, the easiest way to do it because you use your phone it's really simple now that you've got your videos you've posted them all then you need to do two th well before you actually create an ad you got to go create an audience for each of the videos all right so then the way that works is you go into your all tools here you go to audiences 
and then you just create an audience for each of the videos all right so it's really simple I'll I'll do it with you right now I'll create the, an audience with you so if this can load up you see I've already created them right but let's just create an audience you just click on this create audience you say custom audience right and then you say video views right here click on next and then you choose a content type you can say three seconds 10 seconds 25 percent percentage I I might have done 50 percent or 75 percent of my videos but I just did the three second which just means they they at least at the very least they saw the the first few seconds of your video and then you choose your videos over here you click on this to choose your videos and in my case I go to my Facebook page these are other pages I choose my page right here where is it where is it where is it where's my js oh there it is right this page here which is the one I posted those videos on now you see they're here so how to find the most active users those are the videos that are there so this is number six I go down here to find my number one number one is this one so I'm just going to select it right here and I say uh confirm the other thing is for me since I also posted them to Instagram you can also go here and say Instagram and go find this the videos you posted in your reels as well right so this is how to find the most active part number one so our this is this is the video here and um and on my Facebook page it's the video right here right okay so now I have the two videos actually I, I guess it automatically did it but anyways you do that and then you give it a name in my case I said AGU video one right so I just called it AGU video one and then I say I create the audience and that's it then it shows up here and I did the same thing for each of these I did video one video two video three video four video five so if I go back to here and I just uh let's just edit I, if you click on this on one of these you can click on edit after you can also delete and other things but I just say edit videos here and I just want to make sure I have video number one this is video number one if I go back to the Instagram video number one that's right so that's all good I'll just say cancel because I don't need to worry about it so I'll cancel but that's how you create your audience so as you can see right now they all say below 1000 because I just created them yesterday <coughs> and I haven't gotten that many views but as as people view your videos these are grow like see how I have some of these older ones perfect prospect over here look at these these 2000 2500 300 3000 that's perfect prospect video one thirty two thousand right so that's how many and I'll show you how I got that number here which is what I'm doing with this new video series as well and this was just a few days like two or three days that I ran this right and I got this number of views on the first video or the audience right on each of the on each of the video okay so now we go back now that we have the audiences now we can create the videos we want to make sure that anybody who views them actually gets added to our audience right so now you go back to the all tools here to ads manager and um and then you create an ad for it so let's just create a new one I actually have like in here if I go back to let's it's just loading up everything now but if I go back to uh say reach impressions you see down the number down the bottom there right uh, we're seeing oh I don't even have I guess it doesn't save my my columns hmm. I'm gonna have to re-update that let's go and update that again I want to say columns I want to say customize it oh I guess I should have said did set as default this is what I'm going to do because I want to see the clicks and I want to see the page likes as well all the time so I'm going to go back to here I want to add the clicks and I want to see the page likes page likes uh, we probably could put these cost per cost per click and cost click through rate um I don't know that's so that's only if the pixels are set up right on the that's a totally different topic I'm gonna still add it to my list because I like to see that page likes or followers page likes I want to see that and there we go okay I'm just gonna watch I'm gonna move these up here page likes uh clicks <clears throat> and then uh, these click-through rate and put those up here all right 
I'm going to apply that that's going to change my columns and then I can save that as my default I actually want to save that as my default see page likes I don't have any page likes on these videos but that's because it's only the EGU one the ones that I started yesterday right okay so now if I just uh, make that my default I want to set as default this is uh js columns or whatever it's just a name right <coughs> so this will be my my new view now okay anyways N now that you have your audience created your audiences one audience per video right then what you do is you create an audience well actually what the other thing is you need to have an audience that has been following you so let's do that because like that 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 is what makes the huge difference in pricing when we look at this um if I see say for example if I look at these uh crazy low cost ones clock uh, where's the cost per result I should probably put the cost per well anyways whatever see this one here is uh, Russell plus this one here is because they saw number one. Oh no this is number two um but okay so this one here is mine mine is an audience I created that's people that have engaged with me before in the past and if I look at this uh audience let's just uh, click on here I'm going to show you what the audience is and I'll, I'll get to that in a second but the important thing is that you need to have an audience that's been around you I mean obviously if you're starting out right now it's going to be hard to get you know thousands of views per per for pennies right uh, but it's possible because you can use what's called expansion and all these other things but the best way is for you to have your own audience which is uh, where's the audience workshop video viewers so this one here is workshop video viewers if I go back to my audiences I probably should have shown you another one I should have shown you another one because this is just people that viewed the previous video series right and and the new one too uh but uh it's just this can load up uh workshop this one here workshop video viewers custom audience right so if I click on this and I edit this uh, you can see right here that it's 26 videos I click on edit it's all these videos that are in that workshop video series that I did plus the new ones too if I go back to my Facebook page here well you can see perfect prospect perfect prospect perfect prospect um how to find the most active users the ones that I just did too right so these are all the ones that are in here right just cancel that so that's one and the other one is of um I have a whole bunch of audiences in the past that I've done as you can see right here but one of the ones is my um CIS viewers is that up here which I want to show you what that is so as you know I post videos like this every single week I've been doing it for years so I've been tracking uh the viewers of those audiences using a, a, a custom audience here too so if I just do CIS if I can find it CIS page interactions video viewers there it is this one here so this one here is CIS video viewers there's 61,000 to 71,000 in that audience and that's because I've been populating that audience every time I post a new video I add it to this list I mean I actually haven't done that in a while but recently I went back in just for this particular thing and added the last you know 20 or last six months of videos to this list now you can do that the same way you can do also use it your Facebook uh, um, pixel on your blog or on other places you can also use your like the people that like your page and things like that to create a custom audience from that um so you got to start somewhere and one of the ways is to create an ad to send the videos to an audience that would be interested in what you have even though you're just starting out right so if you're just starting out you might not get the results I'm talking about here but if you've been around for a while and you've been posting videos and things like that go ahead and create an audience against those videos right go and do that once you've got that you create the ads let's, now let's talk about creating an ad I'm going to create an ad right now and I'm going to create it against one of my uh, audiences so if I go in here I just say we've got to wait for it to load 
Um, mm -mm. I probably don't. I probably can remove these columns. I don't really care about the bid strategy because I don't. I didn't know what that is, so I don't really use it. <clears throat> but um, and the reach is you know less important. Impressions and reach. I don't. Yeah, whatever. Let's actually edit those things. Sorry, I'm <laughs> kind of updating my stuff. Uh, customized columns. It's back to performance. Why is it back to performance? Huh. Uh, is there a, do I have my own here someplace? Where's my, where's my, oh, there it is. JS columns right here. I have my columns, which I probably did a long time ago. <laughs> I, I thought setting it as default would make it, you know, stay there for the next time. But anyways, okay, let's close all this let's not worry about it. let's create an ad this is how you do it first you click on this create button the first thing it asks you is what kind of ad you want in our case we want an engagement ad because that's for video views you click on engagement click on continue <clears throat> I'm not sure about the bidding type if that matters but I've always just left left it be over here I give it a name I'm going to call this again agu uh, workshop let's make it another traffic one traffic uh, let's say I'm gonna send that to MLSP followers so there'll be a traffic well actually no because we, I'm going to show you how to do a video a video views uh HU let's start over what do I what do I have I'm gonna da, 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 AGU uh let's call this uh okay so first I want to do uh yeah one of these ones I already have so it's going to be AGU so zero one AGU workshop so obviously in your case oh one let's say I send that to MLSP MLSP plus I'm actually going to show you how to do an expanded audience against something that's already there all right so I already have a zero one let's do that the same thing because it's where that's how I have them set so AGU like this so I I want to name each of these sections the same thing I know that people say you reuse the campaign and anyways I always just create a new one for each but that's beside the point okay so then you go down here and you change your daily budget I set it to two Canadian you can go I think as low as one dollar US which would be one 130 Canadian I think or can I yeah that's not enough so 135 perhaps because it depends on what the current current USD to so it's going to tell you this you may get zero results obviously until you do um <clears throat> so don't worry about that for now now you just click on next and then over here again I set this name to the same that's why I copied it and then I go on your ad right here get people to watch a video or interact with your post right so video views you can change that obviously but the default is video views which we want then we have an audience okay so now I want to have an audience I want to create and I wonder if I can uh, I I don't know if I go here and I create I take one of these audiences these are all my custom audiences that I created so maybe I can do my 15 second video viewers the ones that watch a little bit more of my video although it would be the same ones maybe right Instagram viewers people that watch stuff on my Instagram look alike our website traffic website traffic in less than 180 days so maybe this one let's do that actually I, I called it MLSP but okay let's go into my lookalike audience custom audience Mm. okay that's just all and whatever so if I go to my saved audience here I go into my MLSP leaders and do I have other MLSP stuff leaders like top five and then what about this one what's this one oh this is just Canada and US okay so this is the MLSP top five women in MLP link hey let's try that audience let's let's do MLM MLM women 
whatever I I did that language female oh your saved audience contingent that don't exist anymore so I gotta edit this <coughs> and then network marketing pro what is this oh this one Tony Robbins I don't know why why what happened to Tony Robbins it used to exist suggestions oops Oh, there's no longer included try using this alt motivational speaking okay let's do this replace Tony Robbins with that all right and then I have multi-level marketing direct selling retail that's not even what that is whoops well I guess we already have Eric Pro here Eric or if I can just get rid of this one then let's get that out of there right so now I can save it so update this audience this is that's only because this audience I haven't used in a long time uh I don't really care about that one so I'm just gonna say update okay so now my audience has is different it's actually not it's LinkedIn let's say it's not MLSP it's LinkedIn LinkedIn yeah I'm just gonna do that all right just this is what the name is instead I'm gonna go back to here and I'm gonna edit this name make sure they all match okay so now I go back to here and I've got my on my ad I've got my audience set and I can go on next now right just click on next and then over here I'm gonna again the same name because I like using the same name on all of these the pages are set right here normally and you might have to change that then I say I want to use an existing post right here so then what you do is you go find your post it, it, by default it'll load up whatever you did last and if you haven't done anything yet this will just be blank but I'm going to go here and change post to make sure that it's post number one on my Facebook page uh there's a bunch of posts here but there's the ones I want here this one here is this number one part one of two of six right so I just use this one and then I say continue and now I have the video and it gives you examples here you can actually play and see what it looks like whatever right but I wouldn't worry too much about it and then I just say publish so now what that does is you can see it's publishing one publishing hopefully that'll work there you go publishing ad and the campaign and the ad so then it's published and then you can close this and now your uh, ad's going to show us processing and then uh, hopefully be approved and then after that it runs so then what you do what I did is I created another audience I let's create another ad let's create number two I'm just going to say create new campaign here again engagement continue and then I'm going to just say over here I'm going to say I called it zero two AGU workshop saw zero one right let's just say plus here because I'm not going to save it but I'll show you so that's basically the number two so I want to create an ad for video number two but only, but sent to the people that saw video number one so I go down here I change this again to 135 135 in my case because I want to send one dollar a day us click on next and then again on your ad change the name here because that on your ad makes it for the video views then I go down here you save the audience actually no sorry that that's not what I want I just want to click inside of here let's get that that's going to go away okay workshop one to AGU workshop number one so AGU workshop number two is the name I gave the video the the sorry number one I want this is for video two but I want it to be shown to people who saw video one so I click on video one right here that becomes my audience now one thing is you're going to want to get rid of the country here because by default it puts your country in there but I don't want to show it to just people in my country I want to show it to anybody who saw my video right so I close this and then I click on next and then after that again I change this over here and I change this to use existing post and the default will be video number one because that's what I had before and I changed the post to video number two which I think is this one this is part two of six so I change that and I continue 
and then that's that's basically it that's that's ready and I would click on the publish button I won't break now because I don't want to I won't I'm already paying I already have this ad in my campaign so I'm just going to say I'm going to close this and I can actually uh discard no I guess I can't I gotta close this now this is in draft I can actually select it it's actually selected already and I can delete it because I don't I'm not going to create this second ad right so I'm just going to close this close this <coughs> and then that's basically how you create the ad now once you've got these ads all of them created you're going to see that you're going to people that that see video number one you can you know send them to different audiences I got this here Gary Vanichesh Russell Brunson Eric Worry, MLSP leaders my course income secret video viewers so I'm sending video one to all those different audiences and that's growing my video one audience and then I'm sending video two to only those who saw video one and then I'm sending video three to only those who saw video two etc right so that means that only people that have seen all the videos will see my last offer because they've seen all my videos already right and that's makes them more likely to think I know what I'm talking about right and to actually go and click on the link to go and see what I'm trying to offer them right in my case a workshop all right hopefully this was of interest to you and you you got some value if you have any questions obviously you can always reach out but we'll see you in the next video this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time